so now we're working on the second story. And the second story is where we have the controllers living. So we have the controller as well as two expansion boards. Controllers here, and then we'll have one expansion board. And then we'll have two expansion boards. And then the ribbon cables will connect these and then the power connectors will go down through the sides or through these holes to the first level where we have the power. And one thing you want to make sure is that, you know, the controllers are facing the same direction relative to these power connectors, just so that, um, you know, when you're going to number these, you can keep the numbering straight one through 16 and then it's 25 through whatever and then whatever through 48. <clears throat> so, but let's start getting the risers screwed in. So, you know, there's four holes on each board and it sits on risers a little bit elevated from the board. Okay, so we'll put a riser in like this and find one of the little screws that goes on the bottom. I'll just screw them down. And the Lucite plate and all the nuts and bolts and all the hardware are provided through the JDation kit. So I went online, picked a design that was close to what I wanted, tweaked it a little bit, and said, okay, this is what I like, saved it, and ordered it. And then what they do is they manufacture your custom design, and then they send it to you, along with all of the hardware, the nuts, the bolts, everything you'll need for the assembly. Not everything, but everything you need to, to mount things onto the little boards. All, all the risers are now in. Right, so now I need a little tiny screwdriver. Let's get the U place down here. So that is the main board. You know what? These Phoenix connectors need to be off the board in order to use them. So I need to actually pop these guys off real quick. There's one. Those are all off. So let's do the next one. And we're going to keep him lined up so the power posts are facing the same way towards what will be the front, which is all I need. The orange fuses, those are 5 amp fuses. So there's a 5 amp maximum per port. So yeah. All pretty. All right, so what we're doing now is we are getting ready for the second story. So the way the second story works is we have this Lucite panel, and then I have my second story Lucite panel. You can see we got these notches here on the ends. What's gonna happen is these are gonna go, we'll have these nice riser screws, and that's gonna sit near the top. All right, so the way that works is we have our large bolt we have a washer at the bottom. And what we do is we're just going to simply run it up through the hole here, which is perfectly pre-drilled for it. It's part of all part of the JDation kit. And then we just set, put another washer on top, send down a locking screw. We get it snug. Not going for super tight right now. Then I do the same thing with the other one. All 
All right, and then we we have the second story, but it's not quite ready. It needs something to sit on it. So JDation, like we did with the power supply here, has these little tubes. Now, normally these tubes would sit quite a bit higher, right? But uh, since I'm only single stacking the power supplies, you know, some people will put four power supplies, two and two, um, and on the bottom story. But since I just have the one because I'm just powering the controllers, I'm not powering the pixels off of the ports. I've done smaller tubes that will leave me about an inch of clearance above the power supply. Okay, now I have the two vents on either side right here. So the airflow will directly go across the power supply. So it'll be nice. So now I have that in place. I can see what the second story is going to look like. See how it just slides right on there. Okay. And the reason I want to, to do this is because my next step is I need to run power to all six of these power posts, right? Uh, and I'm going to be using 12 gauge wire for, for all of these, um, which will be more than enough. And then once I have that, then I can wire it up, screw it down, get the ethernet cable run, get the DMX cable run. All right, now we're going to run power up to the second story. So I have the second story here, but not bolted down. So I'm going to be running power from here, from these six terminals on the fuse box up to these six terminals. So first thing I got to do is I got to measure out the wires. So it starts in here. I kind of just lay it out like this. And he's about that long. Okay, then I get a black cable. I get my black wire and I measure them out the same. Then I see if that's going to work for the other side. And it will, but shorter. Okay. So that's for this. And that runs here. So about that one. Now the black doesn't have the same distance to go, but I figure it's close enough. Okay. Now we look at from the sides. And this should be a pretty short one. that now we start stripping it's not an advertisement for fig bars okay so now we just start stripping each side That's that. All right, now let me remove the second string. 
go put it in a safe spot. Okay, so I got these guys. They're called a ring. And let's see. Here's the screwdriver. Duck. So spade this side. I do it until I can see the copper coming out. I want to make sure it actually goes all the way through. But now I believe these are the V minus and these are the V plus. But just to double check again. I set my multimeter up for continuity check and I go from the negative bar to here. Yep, those are my V minus. Okay, screwdriver. Alright. I'm gonna put the ones that are going up on top to closest. Because they have the least distance to go. See that? And that is not coming loose. Yeah, just like that. Now we move on to the red ones. This one needs a little more copper. Everything is accessible. I'm getting my Ethernet cords, okay, or Cat5 cables. These are one foot cables. What's unique about them is they have right, right angled connectors. So I am going to put one end into the device side of my APC surge protectors. I have it marked device on this side. Net is what goes out to the street. And so the net side will plug into the glands that I have in the enclosure housing. Oh, hold on. Let me reverse this. Cause this works way better. Yes, like that. Okay. Whoops. All right. I got the bud box. 